today on episode number 236 on women having warped views of what men like. Apparently now women are saying that men like mean girls. Yes, you heard that right. Supposedly men like mean girls. That's what makes us fall in love. Now, if you think that's just ridiculous and no woman will actually ever think that, well, you're going to see in a minute that it's, it's actually something quite common. Now, I'm Eric Peterson, and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for Skill of Attraction. And if you need private coaching with me, just head on over to my website at soa.fm. Click on the coaching tab, and there you'll see I have several options for you to choose from. I offer phone coaching for my North American clients and Zoom coaching for my clients outside North America. And if you'd like to register for the site for free there, you could ask quick questions and join the community and learn even more about women and dating and relationships. But for now, let's see what these women have to say. It's actually scientifically been proven that men fall in love through a hormone called vasopressin and women fall in love through oxytocin and oxytocin is released in a woman when we're having sexual intercourse or we're close with them cuddling very intimate guess when vasopressin is released for men when they're stressed. So essentially, oh, oh my God, the more you stress your man out, the more he's going to fall in love with you. No wonder my man loves me so much. <laughs> Guys like it when you're mean to them more than when you're nice to them, especially when you're starting to date someone and they're not fully interested in you yet. The worst thing you can literally do is like dote over them. Fall at their feet. Now, have you heard anything that ridiculous before that if you, if a woman stresses you out, if she's mean to you, that you're going to love her more. Now, there was some truth to what she was saying. Oxytocin is what causes women to fall in love with a guy, or at least part of what causes her to fall in love. It's often referred to as the love drug or the love hormone. And it happens for men too, but just not at the same rate or same intensity. And this is why women start to get attached to you after they've slept with you. Now, in most cases, a woman has to sleep with you a few times before she really becomes attached. I mean, because, I mean, obviously women do have one night stands sometimes, but once they sleep with you, they start to bond to you. They start to feel closer to you. And it's the same when you're like cuddling and snuggling and all that. It just releases like this, this hormone that's like a drug. It literally is like a drug. And it just makes a woman start to fall in love with you and feel close and really bond to you. It's designed for pair bonding. And it's the universe's way of keeping two people together once they have a child, at least together long enough until that child is a bit independent and can start doing things on its own. And it's also true that for men, it's vasopressin. But that doesn't happen because a woman is stressing you out. Now, stress is one of the factors that helps to trigger vasopressin, but it's not the kind of stress she's talking about. It's more positive stress, you know, building something together and you know, building a life together. But where it really comes from, or I should say at least where it mostly comes from, is from being turned on by her. Because as soon as we sleep with a woman, that vasopressin drops significantly. Have you ever been crazy about a girl and you sleep with her and now you're kind of feeling like, eh, well, that's why. And it does come back. So for you ladies watching this, don't think that if you sleep with a guy, he's going to totally lose interest in you. He does for a short time, but then it comes back. Unless, of course, he was just using you. But the more a woman keeps him turned on and aroused, the more he's going to feel that vasopressin. The more he feels that vasopressin, the more he's going to feel closer and more bonded to her, more in love with a woman. So I don't know where this girl got this idea. She probably just read that stress is what triggers it and naturally tied it into, hey, I stress my guy out all the time. I mean, you heard that other girl. She said, no wonder my man loves me so much. But we don't feel love. We don't feel turned on. We don't feel bonded to a woman who's being who's stressing us out and being mean to us. In fact, it has the opposite effect. But at the same time, I'm not that surprised that girls actually believe this. I mean, there is a book called Men Love Bitches or something to that effect. And it's a very popular book for women. And I've never read it, so I can't say what's in the contents of that book. But going by the title alone, I could tell you it's patently false. I doubt any guy watching this video right now falls in love with a woman who's mean to him, unless maybe they had a super cruel, mean mother and they relate women being mean and cruel to them as love. But that's the equivalent to women who have get beaten up a lot by their man to love, probably because their father did it or something like that. But it just amazes me that women actually believe that men want terrible women, women that are mean to them, women that talk down to them, women that belittle them and just make them feel terrible. For you ladies watching, that is not true. But let's see what the next girl has to say. 
cleaner you are, the better they will treat you. I don't care what anyone says. The meaner you are, the better they will treat you. Men like pain. They love pain. They love pain. So now we love pain, too. We like mean women, and we love pain. Now, the truth is, some of this probably does work on a lot of you know beta men, simply because they have no other options. And it's true that a lot of men look to the woman in their life to be more of a motherly figure. Not necessarily that they're looking for a mother, but they kind of look to women to tell them what to do and for their approval. Because as men, let's face it, from a very early age, we have had to look to women for approval and told if we're doing things right or wrong. For most of us, either our father was working or our father was never around. So we had mom. And then we go to school and, you know, 90% of our teachers are women. So we're in, in our formative years, we have been led and directed and told what to do by women. And then we go to these women and seek their approval to make sure that we're doing good. And we get a nice little pat on the head and we're told, oh, you're a good boy. And for a lot of men, as they get older, they still seek out that woman to give them approval and told them, tell them that they're a good boy. So some of this does work on these beta men. But for the men that they really want, this sort of behavior will never work. For men that have something going on in their life, for men that have options with other women, do you think they're going to be putting up with a woman that's mean to them, that causes them pain? Of course not. They're just going to go to a different woman or back to what they were doing before before they even met her. Men have enough stress in our lives that we don't need more of it. In fact, we go home to a woman in order to seek peace and softness and love from a woman. We don't want to go home to a bitchy woman who's chasing us around with a rolling pin and nagging us and making life impossible and painful. Most likely this girl was with a guy and she was very loving towards and he was kind of mean to her. And when that didn't work out, she met some beta simp and she took out that anger on him and it had him following her around like a puppy dog, waiting for that pat on the head that he's a good boy. And she realized, aha, this is how I get a guy to love me. But it wasn't the right guy. So she's going to try this with all the men. And she's going to learn the hard way that any man that she actually likes, that she actually wants to be with, isn't going to put up with any of this stuff. I think I'm going to have to check out that book, Why Men Love Bitches. And I think there's another one now, Why Men Marry Bitches. Though I do think men marrying bitches seems to be the thing for a lot of guys. I mean, they're pretty angry in a lot of my comments on some of my videos. But that doesn't change the fact that women end most relationships and most divorces. I think the running statistic is something like 75%, but that doesn't even include the women who have drove their men to filing for a divorce or to end the relationship because she didn't have the heart to do it. So they'll drive men into wanting to get out. And this way she could say, it's not my fault. He was the one that ended it. But you still have a pretty high statistic there, ladies. So something to think about. So guys, don't put up with this stuff. Doesn't matter how little options you have. Do not put up with a woman who treats you like crap. Do not put up with a woman who is mean to you, who stresses you out. You will not be happy. You will be miserable. Now, I'm not saying that women are going to be all sunshine and rainbows all the time and be sweet as candy to you 24-7. Even for the sweetest girl in the world, that will never happen. Besides, you don't want a woman that you could walk all over anyway. But you certainly don't want a woman who's going to try to walk all over you either. So watch out for these girls that think that men love bitches because that couldn't be further from the truth. We like soft, loving, loyal women who know how to be feminine. I know how to take care of their man. Seems these days, most women just don't do that. Probably because they're taught that you should never do anything to make a man happy. The feminists think they really figure something out here. Funny how they don't talk about how most people in relationships are just miserable these days. And most likely it's because you have a woman competing with a man, being mean to him and stressing him out like these girls are talking about, and trying to fight for top dog in the relationship. If people follow the traditional way that relationships have been done for thousands of years, Years, where a woman is his partner, is his partner in crime, but he's also the leader, then I think we could get back to much happier relationships. And by being the leader, that doesn't mean you're telling her what to do and ordering her around. That's just being controlling. But women do like dominant men, but most men get dominant confused with domineering. And the difference is leading versus controlling. You lead your woman, you don't control her. But if she's just being mean and stressing you out, you might as well just lead her right out the door because ain't nobody got time for that. 
So if you guys found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and gave it a thumbs up and share it with any of your friends and family. And if you guys need my private coaching, like I said earlier, head on over to my website at soa.fm. That's SOA for skill of attraction and FM because it's fucking magic. And when you get to my website, just click on the coaching tab and there you'll see you have several options to choose from. And we would love you to join the community. It's 100% free. There's no catch. I'm not going to spam you. I don't send you weekly emails. None of that. It's exactly what it looks like. You just sign up and start posting. And everyone there that participates learns a lot more than you can just from watching my videos. So I hope to see you guys there. And that's it for this video. So I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.